Hello. For Edison's birthday, when he was in kindergarten, we designed a spinning top that we 3D printed out of plastic. So for Edison's second grade, eight-year-old birthday, we wanted to design a spinning top that we made out of metal. We're not sure we can do it yet, but we're working on it, and we thought we'd share the process. So, I put together a picture of a good top design and wanted to see how it would work. So, we sketched it out on paper and then put it into the computer in a computer-aided design package, kind of like Tinkercad that I think some of you have used before. This is the shape of the top that I came up with. I wanted to have a proposal for Edison so he could give me feedback and comments. So this is the 3D printed version of that top. It looks like this. I spun it, but it looked like the end here was a little long, and Edison and I reviewed the design, and this curved portion right here, um, Edison didn't think looked very good. So I printed out the design, and then Edison suggested that the edge should be square, not rounded on the inside where your hand goes, and he'd also like the part where you spin it to be grippy. Okay, so we're trying to turn a metal rod into a small metal top. To do that, we put the rod in a lathe which turns it very fast. Bzz, 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 bzz. And while it's turning, the cutting tool that looks like mm, this and is held in a metal holder comes in and carves away the material we don't want, leaving the shape of the top. To do that, we made the computer model of it, but now we have to instruct it how to do that machining in the computer. So this is the model of the top, and it's inside of a see-through metal bar. So we've programmed the system so that it will cut away what we don't want. This process we're doing now is called simulation. We want to see exactly what would happen as the metal part, in this case the green rod, turns and the tool comes in to cut it. We've gone ahead and tried this about 15 times until it's working the way we want it to and the way we want to see it on the real machine. So when I push start, the tool with its yellow cutter just like the one that I held in my hand, will come in and carve away the green part. First it's called facing, it gets rid of the extra material on the end. Then it goes back and creates the end of the shape of the top. That ends the simulation for those two operations. We will now go ahead and flip the part over in the machine to cut the other end. Okay, here we are finishing removing all the metal at the end with the handle. It's going to do a final profile to smooth everything out. Then it's going to switch tools to a cutoff tool and it's going to chop right through the bar 
so we have a piece to work with and flip over. Now we're going to switch tools. And chop it off. And the part falls off. When the machine stops, we'll be able to go down there and pick it up. So this is the workpiece after we've done the first operation and setup. Now we're going to put it in. I'm going to hold it while I lock it in place. Close the door. Turn out the light so you can see it. And Start the program. First it faces off the outside. As it goes along, the computer shows the tip of the tool's movement. Finishes off the corner. Goes on to the next pass. This is the profile of the top. To make the tops, we turned a long metal bar into a set of tops and a big pile of chips. <laughs>